Welcome to The Fun Accountant. My name is Louis and I will be your host in the first video of our series about importing information to Sage Accounting. With you the sun is shining 24 7 Cause when we're together it feels like we're in heaven If it will get dark you'll be my million stars I know I can lean on you Importing is the quick and easy shortcut of transitioning a business system to sites accounting with minimum interruptions. In this series, I will be showing you how to import a full business system and all the transactions into sites accounting. In this video, we are going to deal with the sales side of things by focusing on how to import all your customer details into sites accounting from the Pastel Desktop Accounting system. How is this helpful? Well, with importing a customer list, you will be able to get all your customers' details into your site's accounting system without manually entering customer details, whether it is tens, hundreds, or thousands of customers. The import process remains the same, only the number of lines that you add increases, but this will all be clear in my example in the video to follow. Once you have those customer details in the system, you are good to go and to do business like a pro. A customer list contains vital information about your customer and act as a master file from where constant information is drawn from. For example, when generating an invoice, you select a particular customer and that customer's details are automatically populated to be included in your sales invoices from the information stored in the master file. You only need all your customer information in one central place and from this central place all the information dilutes through the sales accounting system. As you can imagine, a customer file contains a huge amount of information from the most basic details like names, addresses, contact details to advanced details such as customer tax numbers, credit limits, sales reps and specific price lists linked to a particular customer. When will you need to perform customer data imports? Customer data imports are mostly used when you are migrating from desktop accounting systems like Pastel or QuickBooks Desktop to Sage Online Accounting. I have also done customer imports as part of business buyouts and takeovers where the new entity needed to get their hands on the customer master file and start working with it. Although the example I'm going to use in this video was a migration performed of a set of accounts from Pastel Desktop Accounting Software to Sage Cloud Accounting. The steps are similar for imports from other applications and you can use this video with confidence as a good reference when facing the task of adding customers to your system. Customer master file imports sounds daunting but it really is not that difficult and hopefully the information conveyed in this video will remove possible obstacles that prohibits you from migrating to Sage Accounting. The best way to perform an import is to use an existing draft plan, a model or a template. By building on a template, you can ensure that the data you import meets the requirements of the system. This will prevent any nasty surprises right at the end after you have put in a lot of work. In Sage, you can find all your import templates, including the customer details from the top navigation menu under Company, Import Data, then click on the Import Data Guide and Templates. From here, you can select the Customer Import Template, which is an Excel document. I'm also going to leave a link in the description of the video 
where you can download the customer import template from our website. This is how the template looks like. The first row of the spreadsheet contains the headings and an explanation of what data is categorized in each column. The first column, column A, provides an explanation of how the import spreadsheet works. What you need to do is to copy the information from your existing customer database into each column of the template spreadsheet. Both column A and row 1 are deleted in the last preparatory step of the import file after your columns have been filled in. It is not compulsory that all the columns have to be filled in and contain data. You can leave certain columns empty if you don't have the data or it is not applicable for your business. The purpose of the header row is to inform you which columns can be left empty. The most tedious task of this whole process is to collate all the customer information in this format. The rest of the import process is simple. The import process I'm showing happened after a failed attempt of using the Cloud Convert online service to perform the import from Pastel to Sage Cloud Accounting. The Cloud Converts services is good and in normal circumstances their free import option works fine except for the fact that when Cloud Convert performs a conversion they transfer the data in batch totals. They also post all the batch contract totals to a conversion control account in your new set of books. Why is that a problem? There is no trace to a transaction that you can follow to prove its substance. It is impossible to identify the flow of a transaction through the accounting system, preventing you from being able to find an error because the details of the transactions are hidden in the batch totals. I have to warn you against setting off with an outsourced importing service such as Cloud Convert without having done some crucial steps first. These important steps before you import are make sure that all your banks balance, ensure that your customer accounts and supplier accounts are 100% correct, ensure that your VAT transactions are all correct, check that your general ledger accounts are correct. These were the exact things the company did not attend to, but worst of all, they somehow also lost access to their old desktop accounting system. All that this client could provide me with when they asked for my help was a newly converted messy set of accounts as an imported company in Sage Accounting. At least I had a good reference starting point with this converted Sage company as I put all the data back together again piece by piece. On that point, here I am logged into the newly converted company and although much of the financial figures brought over from Pastel Desktop Accounting to this company is doubtful, there is a great deal of information that is helpful. For example, the entire customer list was brought over to the new company and I will use this list. In order to get the customer's list into the new company, you first have to export the existing customer list and then import that file into a newly created company that you will be using. You can access the list of customers from the top heading menu under Customers, List and then List of Customers. At the top right is the customized grid and you will be using this grid to match your customer details to the customer import template. Under the customized grid, you have all the columns and the columns ticked are the ones selected to be displayed and which will be exported. I'm going to select additional columns and thereby ensure that all the important information is available for importing. Column AB, the customer's credit limit. Mm -hmm. 
column AS, the customer's default VAT type. Column AI, the customer's tax reference, which is the VAT number. Column AG, the customer's email address. Column AK, whether the customer accepts electronic invoices. Column AN, to specify how each customer statement will be distributed. Column AN, to specify whether the customer is set up to view invoices on the site accounting customer zone. Column AO, whether the customer is a cash sale customer or not. Column AP, the sales rep can be specified per customer. Back to column AL, when Sage will automatically allocate a receipt to the customer's oldest invoice. Column AR, the default discount percentage. Column AH, the customer's web address. The last step before you can export your customer's data is to save the grid. Looking at the list of customers now, with all their details, it is clear that there is much more information and many more columns displayed. There are two ways to export your customer data. Certainly, the longer way of the two is to head to Company in the top navigation menu, then down to select Export Data, select Customers to Export and Export Data. Your customer list is created and downloaded to your local drive. The shorter way is from your list of customers to select the CSV download icon. Let's take a sneak peek at the customer list and compare it to the customer import template. And for that purpose, I'm going to split my screen and show the content of both files. You can see the customer name, customer category, opening balance, Opening balance date, postal address lines, delivery address lines, I'm going to delete the additional delivery address columns because I don't have any in the template. The user defined fields we don't really need but I'm going to keep the text numeric and data user fields, the credit limit, contact name, telephone number, and it appears that there are still customers with fax numbers, cell number, email address, web address, and tax reference numbers. The next columns contain information about the management of the customer account, but I'm not going to name each column. You can go through them at your own convenience. The spreadsheet ends with the default VAT type. I'm happy with the export file. Now for the fun part, and that is to show how Sage handles the import of the enormous quantity of data in the new company. For that, I'm going to log into the new company and immediately go to list of customers, which has no information yet. 
click on Import Customers. The three steps of the import process are displayed. The first step is upload your CSV file. The second step is map import file fields. The third step is to note the CSV import results for any errors. In step one, click on the choose file button, find a customer CSV file and upload the file. The My CSV import file contains column headings, is ticked, and then click on Next. In step 2, you are going to match the accounting field names with the import file field names, thereby assigning each column's data to the corresponding accounting field. There are a number of fields to the view, but we have already completed most of this work when we compared our export file to the import template and I'm not going to check each field again. In step 3, the CSV import results is revealed with 53 errors and 50 successful imports. My import results was not that great at all. This gives me the opportunity to show you how to resolve these errors because it can happen to anyone and I don't want you to get stuck with errors at this point. I want to warn you against something. Do not click on the finish button before you have reviewed the import log file because you cannot go back to view the log errors once you have gone forward by clicking on finish. Let's view the import log file to consider the import errors. There appear to be two types of errors. The default price list does not exist and secondly the sales rep does not exist. I did not pay attention to these fields when I performed the import. In the original file exported there is a price list 1 but in a new sage company the price list 1 does not exist. Similarly a sales rep has been added in certain customer rows. I can fix this issue by deleting these fields and redo the import of these customer rows. You can find the affected customer rows by sorting the data by the default price list and secondly the sales rep columns. The default price list column has 33 entries and this range includes the sales rep entries as well. I can keep these rows for the next import and delete the redundant rows because they have already been imported successfully to Sage Accounting. This leaves me with the 53 remaining rows that need to be fixed by deleting the entries in a sales rep and default price list column and saving the file. Back in Sage Accounting, I can now finish the previous import and perform another import. Again, you find it at the top navigation menu, under Company and down the list to Import Data. You select the newly saved CSV file to upload the file to Sage. I'm just going to skip over the mapping and select Next. And there you have it, the 53 rows were imported successfully. And now you have achieved exactly what you wanted within a few minutes without having to manually enter customer details into your site's accounting system. Hopefully this video will assist you to easily migrate from your existing pastel accounting system to site accounting. Thanks for watching. See you soon.